So this is Sigma, and what we're looking at here is a direct connection into Snowflake. I've navigated into a particular database and schema. I'm looking at uh, standard retail sales data. This does give me a quick peek into the data that's in this table, and I can explore this further. And when I do, it creates a workbook, just like in Excel, a multi-tab interface where I can do some analysis. In this case, uh, I'm a business user. I want to enrich my analysis maybe by uh, organizing the date by year. So I duplicate and truncate to yearly. And maybe I want to add a new calculation. So we'll do the sales amount minus the cost amount, which gives us our profit. It's often the case that business users will ask for extracts of data from their current tool set. And if you were to ask them why, nine times out of 10, they would tell you, well, I'm pivoting the data in Excel. And so there's a couple of problems with that. First, you're limited to the amount of data that Excel can hold, which is about a million records. And second, it's completely ungoverned. It lives on somebody's laptop and you have multiple copies of that data uh, out there in the wild. So instead, what we can do is create the pivot table right here in Sigma. And so we can get at, for example, the sales amount. We'll rename that revenue. We can do by region, for example, and then pivot it, say, by year. And that blue line is issuing those queries and running them live against the Cloud Data Warehouse all along the way. So this is the SQL that just got generated for that last iteration where we grouped by year. Now, I'm a technical guy. I can write SQL like this, but it sure would take me a long time. I'd much rather do it this way. I could also add in some conditional formatting to highlight uh, the high and low values, for example. And now I can really see for example, the West is doing really great, and I want to drill in and see why. So when I drill, I'm not limited to any particular area. Nobody had to build a hierarchy or a drill path ahead of time. I can drill wherever I like. So I'm going to drill down by product type, and now it's going to filter on the West, as you see up here. And I can see Arts and Entertainment has the highest revenue. I'm going to drill a little bit further by product name. And then I'm going to sort, and I don't have to wait for it to finish. I can sort while the queries are running. We're going to actively cancel any queries that are no longer needed. And I've just found out that <laughs> finger and hand symbols are absolutely crushing it in the West. So who knew? Now, getting to that level of detail, that kind of insight using your existing tool set, where extracting and pivoting in Excel, it's simply not possible due to the scale of the data. It's just too much data to handle in Excel in the first place. Last but not least, Sigma does provide full dashboarding capabilities with filters and charts and everything you might expect. The difference for Sigma is we can always drill into whatever charts we like and we're not restricted. We can drill in any direction. Nobody has to define any hierarchies or drill paths ahead of time. So drilling by store region, maybe this is really interesting for me. I maximize the element and I can still get at the record level detail that's powering this particular visualization. So that's Sigma in a nutshell. Uh, we provide quick access to large amounts of data, uh, allowing non-technical business users to really just follow their train of thought using the Excel skills that they already have.